A member of the camera crew on the film Rust disputed claims by actor Alec Baldwin that he didn't pull the trigger on the Colt. 45 prop gun, fatally shooting the movie cinematographer and injuring its director. In a statement Thursday, first camera assistant Lane Looper, through his Albuquerque attorney, countered Baldwin's remarks, just hours before a planned ABC primetime program. Baldwin told ABC News anchor George Stephanopoulos that he didn't fire the gun during an October 21st rehearsal, killing Heine Hutchins and injuring director Jill Souza. The trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. No, 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 Baldwin told Stephanopoulos in a clip from Alec Baldwin Unscripted. I would never point a gun at anyone and pull the trigger at them. Never. Although he was not on the set the day of the shooting, Looper, through his attorney, Jacob G. Digil, said Baldwin's claims didn't add up. Guns don't just go off. The Single Action Colt 45 revolver handled by Alec Baldwin required multiple active steps to discharge and kill Heine Hutchins, Looper said in the statement. The gun had to be loaded with live ammunition, held and pointed, the hammer of the weapon manually cocked, and the trigger pulled. It was not a magic self-firing weapon. The dispute comes amid a law enforcement investigation by the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office, an FBI analysis of the weapons and ammunition involved in the shooting, and two civil lawsuits brought by two other members of the Rust crew who allege that lack safety protocols by producers, including. The Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office has been scrutinizing the actions of Baldwin as well as Assistant Director David Halls and the 24-year-old armorer, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, as part of its investigation into Hutchins' death. Earlier Thursday, an attorney for Halls corroborated Baldwin's account in a TV clip posted on Twitter by ABC News. The entire time Baldwin had his finger outside the trigger guard, parallel to the barrel. Halls, told me since day one, that he thought it was a misfire, Halls attorney, Lisa Torrico, told ABC News. Until Alex said that, it was just really hard to believe. But Dave has told me since the very first day I met him that Alec did not pull the trigger, 